Good morning. We're so glad you're here at Westgate. If you are a guest with us today, please make sure to stop by the welcome desk in the lobby to pick up a special welcome gift. We join together this morning to sing praises to God, to gather strength and deepen our faith in God by spending time in His Word, to offer our praise and petitions through prayer, and to commune with one another as we remember and celebrate the blood and body Jesus Christ sacrificed for us. What a blessing it is to be here. We're so glad you've joined us. To stay informed about events at Westgate, be sure to sign up for our weekly Westgate On The Go email. You can go to the bottom of our website or scan the QR code on the cover of the bulletin and scroll to the bottom of the page. Trunk or Treat and Fall Funival will be Sunday, October 27th. Trunk or Treat will be from 4 to 5 p.m. in the back parking lot with a prize given to the top decorated trunk. From 4.30 to 6 p.m., we will have Bobbert the Balloon Guy, a cakewalk, inflatables, carnival games, popcorn, and cotton candy. There will also be a Westgate Christian School fundraiser meal beginning at 5 p.m. Trunk or Treat and Fall Funival are church-wide outreach events for our community, so we are asking all members to participate. There is a QR code in the Children's Ministry announcements in the bulletin to sign up for carnival games. See Allison for more details. Factory workers in Victorian England often lived in poverty and their dangerous work environments meant deaths were commonplace. An entrepreneur named George decided to take a different approach with his burgeoning candy factory. Because of his faith in Christ, he made the radical choice to pay his employees good wages, provide medical care, and create a village specifically for his workers that included schools, churches, and play areas. The factory flourished, and it was a sweet deal, not just for his workers, but for the public in general, and it still is, through the chocolate products made by the company started by George Cadbury. Paul wrote these words that we should all be able to say. The testimony of our conscience is that we have conducted ourselves in the world with godly sincerity and purity, not by human wisdom, but by God's grace. Our faith in Christ should lead us away from adding to the divisiveness of our culture and toward acts of service to those who are marginalized and mistreated. Showing love in an environment of anger and dissension is a sure way of standing out from the world and can provide us with an opportunity to tell others why we do it. Because Jesus Christ first did the same thing for each of us. Join us as we worship God together. <laughs> 